Hello everyone. In this video, I want to give an example of what you can achieve with our new Node Edge dashboard component. In this example, I've used a component to visualize a network of switches and the physical connections between them. As you can see, the switches are drawn here as circles with a little switch icon inside them, and the lines between them represent their physical interconnections. Below each switch, you can see the name of that element, and if I hover over it, you can see a little pop-up window showing a bit more information about that device, such as the IP address, the location, and the CPU usage, for example. I can do the same for my connections, and if I hover over them, I can see some KPIs for that connection measured on the interface on that device, such as the bandwidth, or the interface utilization. I can now take it a step further and start coloring in these connections based on the alarms in my data miner system. For this, I need to switch my connections into alarm mode. And as you can see, automatically, the alarm state of my interfaces is now visualized with a color on my uh, connections in the topology. So you can see that almost all my interfaces are running in a green alarm state, except the one here on top, which gives a critical alarm because the interface utilization is at 100%. As the alarm states will start updating in data miner, the changes will be visualized in real time on this topology. This alarm coloring is already very useful but sometimes alarm templates can be a bit too rigid for doing really analysis in a dashboard. Usually you just want to set your alarm templates in Data Miner Cube and then don't really change them anymore later on. Um, so it's not really dynamic enough um, for this dashboard environment. And for that, um, we've provided another mode of visualization of this component, which is the analytical state. So I can change that uh, again, switching from alarm to analytical state. And this analytical visualization is completely controlled with the component, the filter component, as you can see here on the left. I can use this one to, to do filtering, highlighting, and coloring of my topology. Just to give some examples, I can, for example, highlight certain devices um, based on, for example, what floor they are on, or um, what model, what device model it is. And I can do the same on my interfaces. For example, I can search for interfaces that have the word uplink in their description. And you see that those are now uh, highlighted as well in the topology. And I can also control the coloring um, with this filter component. As you can see, I set some coloring ranges already. And you can see it better if I go in edit mode. I've configured some coloring ranges here on the interface utilization in megabit and on the interface utilization in percentage. So for example, from zero to 20 in green, from 20 to 50 in yellow, etc. And I can choose which one to use for the coloring uh, again in the settings here. So for example, I can choose my interface utilization percentage as the source for the coloring and my component will automatically color the whole topology based on that uh, KPI. And the easy thing is that I can now very easily change it in my dashboard. For example, if I want this to be green, not from 0 to 20, but from 0 to 1%, for example, and then yellow from 1% to 50%, I can easily make those changes just in my dashboard and immediately see it reflected in my topology. And I can also very easily switch to another source of coloring, for example, to the utilization in megabit, just again by going to the settings, switching from utilization percentage to absolute utilization. And again, my topology will automatically be recolored based on that KPI. So that's a very convenient way to really start doing analysis on this dashboard without being limited to the alarm templates that are configured in data miner. 